Hello again from my workshop. Today the jig is up. Maybe only the old guys like me will get that. Hopefully you saw my first video. I used four jigs in my last video and I just want to show you what they look like and how they work. First I have the glue up board. Then I have the clamping press and I have the rest for the parting tool and also the template for the angle. Last I have the back support for the bowl as you cut it off. At the end, I'll show you the project as it stands with my salad bowl sets. The glue up board project was something that came out of necessity because it was getting complicated with all the clamps that I needed. So I came up with this jig. For the glue up board, I used a piece of three quarter inch plywood. I put an extra piece underneath so that when I drilled my three quarter inch hole for the bench dog hole clamp three quarter inch stainless steel brass workbench stop from Amazon, oh, say that fast three times, I would have enough depth for the hole. I mounted two pieces of plywood at a 90 degree angle, then put three coats of polyurethane to seal the top so the glue wouldn't stay on the board. I can wipe it clean with a wet rag. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you how I use my jig that I made up to glue up the boards. These are all separate. I'm not going to glue them right now, but I'm just going to show you this jig, how it works. So what you do is get all your boards in place. You glue them up, and this is a 90 degree so that when you do glue up, make sure all the edges are lined up against this side. Then you would clamp down. This comes with the two little wrenches and just clamp them in there. Once you're glued up, once you put the glue on rather, And that tightens them in place. Come off. Now you have everything in place. And what I did was make this so that I had enough room to do my holes on this side. And this is just to balance the frame of this so it won't wobble. It won't walk very solid and make sure everything is lined up to your edges and it's square and that gives you the start once you've glued put the glue in between. Now you take just a scrap board, you put it on here, you put your clamps on either side and this way here you can glue up the whole thing. It's flat it's square, and you're done. Thank you. Now we come to the glue-up press, another internet find. Scrap wood is a woodworker's best friend. The only expense was the shoulder vise screw from Lee Valley. What we have here is a clamping mechanism so that I can clamp up the bowls that I've just produced with the board from a bowl. And I've already glued this up, but just to show you what this does, I have a little disc here that I keep with a Velcro so that it won't get lost. Put that on top of the bowl and I can center that and then put pressure on it as much as I want. This mechanism here is quite a quite a good piece that uh, you can use. It's mounted so that the pressure going up goes to the boards. The boards are notched in here. I had to brace this in order for it not to 
bend and warp because it was bending and warping here so I braced it and made it big enough because I have a smaller lathe I have it big enough to make bowls give or take 10 inches or so so this is a nice contraption that helps me to, uh, help me to glue up the bowls that I'm making thank you the parting tool rest was an idea I got from someone on the internet, and I modified it a little for my lathe setup. I used the Nova Modular Tool Rest System. I'm scrolling it across the screen for your benefit. The parting tool I use is the 1 16th Robert Sorby Micro Parting Tool. These two items I used for slicing the bowls. This I made using parts from the internet. You can buy these through Amazon. And then what I did, I made a wooden piece and actually used oak. I thought I used maple, but it's oak. And uh, screwed it bolted it basically to the metal bracket. I didn't have to change the shape of the front of it. I just extended this a little bit so that it can be turned any direction you want while you're using your cutting, your, uh, cutting tool. And this is the guide to your degrees. I've got 50 degrees. I've got 60 degrees. I've got 45 degrees. This way here I can put it anyway on here to get my correct angle to cut out my bowls. The steady rest behind my board when I do the angle cutoff is just some scraps of wood with magnets on the base. You can search Amazon and find every kind of magnet available to suit your project. All right, so these are the bowls I've got ready for finish. But I made a set so that each bowl will match up with the main big bowl, which I've made previously. And I've numbered each one on the bottom so that I can make sure the set stays together. And when I finish them up, I'll have to take this piece off. But I'll do it so that I can keep these in the same set. I've got four sets that I'm making. So far I've got two of them finished and I'm working on the third set. And they each have a different shaped large bowl. These are for salad. So this is what you get after you've done the bowl on the board and you've got it shaped and sanded. This is where it stands right now. And the next thing I'll be doing is putting a finish on these. Probably won't happen for a few days or a week. If you haven't seen my first video then now is the time to go check it out, right after you finish watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my site. Also, please share it with your friends. I expect to be doing more videos soon. Thanks again for watching.